Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be taking a look at the latest 4K ultra short throw laser projector from Nexigo. This is the Aurora Pro PJ92 capable of giving a massive 150 inch display from just 1.44 feet away. Details are in description below including purchasing links. Now the Aurora Pro PJ92 is not only aimed at movies and TV shows, also gaming as it supports HDMI 2.1 making it ideal to use with an Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5 or even a PC. So I'll be testing it out with some gaming on my Xbox Series X and PlayStation to see how well it performs, looking at the picture quality in different lighting environments and see how well the projector performs in general usage. So watching movies and streaming services. So hopefully this video will give you an idea if it's worth getting or not and I'll highlight any positives and negatives I've found regarding it. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. So let's start off by unboxing this and seeing what you get inside the packaging. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. In the box, you get a cloth for cleaning the lens, a remote control, two AAA batteries, some documentation, a power cable with a kettle connector and a UK plug, and finally the projector, which is protected with a plastic cover. Taking a closer look at the projector, it's quite large with a weight of just under 10 kilos. I've added the dimensions on the screen to give you an idea of its size. It has a sleek, minimalistic design with a matte black finish all the way round. At the front, you have some speakers, which have some material mesh cover, three LED lights, which turn on when the projector is turned on and some air vents at the side. It has a power button on the top with Dolby Vision Atmos written on the top right hand side, 4K UHD on the left corner and Nexigo branding in the middle. On either side you have some vents and some chrome dials to adjust the height together with a USB port on the right hand side. At the back of the projector you have your ports which consists of three HDMI 2.1 ports with the first one supporting eARC, two USB ports, an audio port for a 3.5mm jack, an optical out port, a LAN port and a power input connection. Setup of the projector is easy. Once you've connected up the power and turned it on, go through the setup prompts. You first pair up the remote, select your language, then add in your Wi-Fi network. If you're not using the LAN port, which I am using, select your installation method. I'll go for projector screen, accept the terms of use, and you can also sign in with Amazon to enable smart functionality so you can control it with voice commands. Then accept the two other prompts and that's it, you're up and running. Startup isn't bad and it just takes a few seconds to get it up and running and noise levels are minimal. The display technology used here is DMD DLP with the light source technology being triple color laser with an estimated life of 25,000 hours. So theoretically, if it was used four hours every day, it could last around 17 years. The operating system uses a custom Android 9 interface with it having an MTK MT9669 CPU with 128 gig of storage and 3 gigs of RAM. The interface is quite responsive when navigating around and you have a number of different apps including Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, YouTube and more. And you can even do screen mirroring so you can cast from your phone. It supports Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6. Looking in settings under general, it gives you some basic information about the projector and you can also check for any updates to the firmware here too. I'm using the projector with a motorized ALS projector screen from VividStorm and it's best to use the projector with a screen like this as it allows you to use the projector even when you have ambient light in the room. And as you can see, I've got the projector directly in front of the screen. This is possible as this is an ultra short throw projector. So I'm getting a 100 inch projection at just 0.65 feet away. It has a throw ratio of 0.233 to one and is capable of projecting from 80 inches to 150 inches. I've added a table on the screen to give you an idea of the distance and image sizes you could get. And just a note, you could also ceiling mount the projector as it has VESA mounting points underneath. The PJ92 projector has keystone correction, allowing you to correct the projection you're getting on the screen in case you see any abnormality. And this is standard functionality you get with the majority of projectors out there. Now the picture quality from the Aurora Pro PJ92 is stunning with a 4K 3840 by 2160 resolution and a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The colors look vibrant 
with it capable of producing over 1 billion colors covering an impressive 107% BT.2020 wide color gamut with great contrast levels at 3000 to 1. The picture on the screen is detailed and sharp and brightness levels are good with the projector giving 2400 ANSI lumens from its tricolor laser lens. On the big screen, the picture quality looks incredible, giving a really impressive viewing experience when watching movies or TV shows with vibrant visuals with it supporting both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Now I've done a side by side comparison of the picture quality in different lighting environments. So projecting onto my ALR screen and you can see the picture quality is awesome in a dark room on the ALR screen with some ambient lighting. Now in a bright room, the picture doesn't seem to fade and the quality is still very good with the picture not washing out. Now onto the projecting onto a wall, the projector works really well with the picture being sharp and clear with good quality. But in a bright room, the picture does look more washed out. So definitely worth investing in an ALR screen if you're thinking of getting this projector. Now let's test out some gaming and with the Aurora Pro PJ92 projector supporting HDMI 2.1 it's perfect for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. I've connected the projector to my Xbox Series X and looking in general 4K TV details, you can see everything is ticked. And then moving on to looking in video mode, everything is ticked. You do need to select the game mode option on the projector and set low latency to on to get the best experience, giving you the lowest latency and no screen tearing. The PJ92 has quite an impressive low latency of just 12 milliseconds at 4K 120 hertz or 1080p 120 hertz which is really good for a projector i've played a number of different games on both my playstation 5 and xbox series x and to be honest the huge screen is seriously insane giving an awesome immersive gaming experience with the picture looking incredible with vibrant colors and smooth gameplay with no stuttering the input lag is more than sufficient for the majority of games but obviously it can't compete with a gaming monitor that has a lightning fast one millisecond response time but this takes gaming to an epic level on the big screen with awesome picture quality. It has motion estimation, motion compensation technology or MEMC for short. And this ensures that even in fast scenes, the image is still clear, sharp, making it perfect for both gaming and watching movies or live sports events. And as it's an ultra short projector, this is great for sim racing as you can have it in front of your sim cockpit. So playing Gran Turismo 7 looks amazing on the 100 inch screen, giving really smooth gameplay and no screen tearing or stuttering. Now using the inbuilt apps generally worked well giving a good experience but I did spot a slight issue when playing some videos on YouTube where videos wouldn't play at 4k consistently but I do know Nexigo are working on getting this resolved soon so as a workaround you could use an Amazon Fire Stick or your console but nevertheless it performs really well giving incredible picture quality in 4k with impressive contrast, vibrant colours and good blacks. The Aurora Pro PJ92 has two 15 watt subwoofers and two 15 watt tweeters supporting Dolby Atmos giving quite an impressive audio experience with it capable of going quite loud giving a good amount of depth which really puts a lot of other projectors and even TVs out there to shame. I wouldn't say it's better than having a dedicated soundbar and subwoofer or even a complete surround sound system but nevertheless it's pretty good. Have a listen to this. Onto the remote, which has a simplistic design and a good feel to it with all the basic controls you need to hand. And the best thing about it is that it's backlit. So it lights up when there's a slight movement on it, making it perfect in a dark room. Now, how about comparing the projector to an OLED TV? Now, I know it's not a fair comparison, but I thought it'd be good to show them both side by side. This is my LG OLED G3, and you can see straight away the contrast and brightness levels are higher with either the lights on or off. But regardless, the projector performs really well on the ALR projector screen in comparison. So in summary, I'm really impressed with the Aurora Pro PJ92 Ultra Short Throw Projector from Nexigo. The picture quality is really good, giving great contrast levels and colors on the screen, even in a well-lit room but it's best to use it with an ALR screen to get the optimal picture quality. The sound quality from the speakers is really impressive with it being loud and giving some good depth. 
I like the backlit remote, which made it easy to use in a totally dark room by moving the remote. A good little feature, I'd say. And gaming wise, it performed really well with it supporting HDMI 2.1 at 4K 120 hertz. Gaming on my Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 was really smooth with no stuttering or screen tearing. Plus, I love the big screen experience with my sim racing cockpit, giving a really immersive racing experience. Negatives wise, the only thing I came across was a slight issue when playing certain videos on YouTube where they wouldn't play at 4K consistently, but Nexigo are working on a fix for that. But I wouldn't say that's a deal breaker in any way. So there you have it. You've come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. If you have any questions on this projector, then let me know in the comments below. And for those of you who've got to the end of this video, please leave a comment with PJ92, as it's nice to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on my socials. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.